Here is the drag and drop interaction that I've created where the learner has to solve this equation by uh, decoding what these objects mean and placing the answer option. Let's preview this and see what's missing in this drag and drop interaction. So here the learner has to decode these objects where uh, this mushroom means 8, a flower means 5 and a star means 2. So they have to add and subtract uh, the numbers and get the result. So here clearly it's not 0 so I'll just place 0 and it goes back without giving any indication to me that why this option was wrong. So uh, let's do it for other things and it doesn't work that way. And when I place the correct number, it gives me some feedback, which is an audio feedback. So uh, it's a good indication that, okay, I have answered this cor correctly. I may or may not require any feedback for that. But what if I place an incorrect option here and I don't hear anything or I don't get any corrective feedback? That can be an issue for the learners. So let's uh, try and resolve this issue by adding some um, audio feedback to it. One way is to enable the play sound which will play some audio on incorrect response. Let's see how it works. So here you can see that when I'm placing a wrong option, there is some audio feedback and clearly indicates that yes, it's not correct. But what we are looking for is not this audio feedback. What we are looking for is some descriptive remedial feedback that we can add here. Now here in drag and drop, there is no direct way to do that. But we have a workaround which you can use. So let's uh, select this drop target, which is a transparent drop target. I'll select this and here you see these captions you have captions that appear on accept, on reject, on an, an, on hint. Here what we want to do is we want to play some audio when a particular object is rejected. Okay, so I'll select this and you see a failure caption appearing here. We don't want to see the caption, we want audio feedback. So what we will do is we'll play some trick here. So I'll select this caption, go to the properties panel, change the caption uh, to a transparent type so that it's not visible and you can see some text here i'll just select this text and delete it so we have the caption but it won't be visible in the output i'll select this and now i will scroll down and here is an option to add audio as soon as i click this button i get a dialog in this dialog i can either either record the audio i can import it from my uh, hard disk or i can import it from the library so just to save time i have already recorded and imported audio in my library so i will click library and here you can see that i have these three audio files. The first one is for the first um, caption that I have added. So I will just select that and click OK. Let's play this and see if it's working fine. Oh, that's not right. Try calculating again. Okay, this uh, sounds correct for this particular option. So I'll just click save and that audio will be added to my uh, caption. Let's do the same steps for the next two captions as well. So I will go to drag and drop interaction, enable on reject caption, select the caption, go to properties panel, change uh, the caption style to transparent, delete uh, the text inside this and then uh, add audio here. So I will go to add audio and here again I have it in library feedback to OK, save, yes of course, close and then we have this last one. We quickly do the steps once again, select the caption, go to properties, change the caption style to transparent, delete the text and then add audio to this caption. So here's the library, here's the audio file and click OK. I save it, yes of course, and close. And our audio is attached to this. So let's preview this. I will uh, press F4 on my keyboard uh, so that I can hear it. So here you can see that it's appearing correctly. Now let me place two here, which is definitely incorrect. Oh, that's not right. Try calculating again. Eight minus five plus two 
perfect so it gives me an indication that it has to be 8 minus 5 plus 2 and then it's easier for the learner to calculate it because if they have any problems decoding this uh, I have given some hint out there let me do it the same for this one as well now it should be 2 plus 8 minus 5 Perfect. So you can see that you get nice feedback in the audio format uh, to solve the expression correctly. I hope you like this hidden gem inside the drag and drop interaction in Adobe Captivate 7. Thanks for watching this tutorial.